Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Y'all ready for this? Y'all loving it. Raise your hand if you're here for the first time. Please, thank you so much. Anybody, oh my God, give God some glory for them. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Karen. Say welcome to Karen, man. Welcome to Karen. And everybody else, welcome. God bless you. I'm telling you, we got soul winners in this place. So, a new beginning. We open up with 2 Corinthians 5.17. If some of you have your Bible, please go to it. Thank you, Stephen. I see you. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, man, you guys better help me finish I know y'all know this. Because this is one of the most powerful verses. But there's a catch to it. And I want you to listen. It says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. He says, the old has passed away. Behold. The new has come. Because he talks about a new creation, a new beginning. But the key part here, it says, if anyone is in Christ. If anyone's in Christ, man. So the first step is accepting Jesus. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Jesus saves people. Amen. Scream it this year. Declare it. Walk with it. Be an example of that. Jesus saves, man. He saved me, a wretch like me. Amen? Raise your hand Jesus saved you. Number one is accepting Jesus. Number two, let go of any unforgiveness. Can I, man, I need a better amen for that. Show y'all amen. amen. We go to Corinthians 2.10. It says, that's 2 Corinthians 2.10. It says, anyone whom you forgive, I also forgive. Now listen to this. It says, anyone whom you forgive. I didn't know this was in the Bible. I also forgive. Indeed, he says, what I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake and the presence of Christ. Here's the bomb. Pay attention. I did not know what the Bible says. Listen to what you're allowing to happen if you live in unforgiveness. It says, so that we would not be outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant to his designs. What does it show us? He's not working you. You're dragging unforgiveness that heavy. How many know unforgiveness is heavy? It is heavy, man. You're dragging that unforgiveness all the way to 2024, 25, 26. You've been dragging this since 1986. Man. I want you to bow your heads real quick and close your eyes real quick. And um, I want you to receive this. If you're struggling with any unforgiveness due to, listen, pain, hurt, betrayal, backstab, Family issues, sexual abuse, suicidal thoughts. What does that mean? You have unforgiveness towards yourself. Guys, this is important. I'm not doing this no, no other time tonight. This is now. <clears throat> Don't walk into 2024 with unforgiveness. The Bible says it could lead you to hell. He says, I won't even forgive you if you can't forgive others. Some of you are dragging pain from last year, even from your own boyfriends and girlfriends, marriages, husbands, my goodness. Seriously, God is calling many of you to repent right now. At this moment, those watching on IG, I forget about you. Listen to these words and repeat after me. Say, Father, Father tonight, tonight together, together as a family, together. as your children, we repent from unforgiveness. from unforgiveness. And right now, right now I personally, I personally publicly, publicly, in your presence, in your presence ask, you, Lord, ask you, Lord, for forgiveness. Forgive, forgive, me. forgive me for every, for every any, any ounce, ounce of, unforgiveness of unforgiveness in my heart, in my heart towards my past, towards, my past, towards family, towards, family, towards relationships, relationships, any exes, any, exes, <laughs> any friends. Any friends you ready for this? And myself. And myself. And myself. And myself. I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. In Jesus' mighty name. Keep your heads bowed, please. Keep your heads bowed. Keep your heads bowed. B, I'm going to need you. Help me minister to them real quick. Let us take three minutes. Every, every eye closed. I'm going to walk around. B, help me walk around. <clears throat>
give God some glory tonight. How many felt Amen? You cannot tell me. You cannot tell me God is not in this place, man. Jesus. So again, that was number two. Third step, let's run straight to it, okay? I promise you it won't be too long. Third step is you must renew your mind. Amen. You already know the verse, I'm going to go to that. <laughs> you need to change the way you think about sin. Listen, worldly philosophies, worldly mentalities. <coughs> Bro, don't bring that into 2024, man. Let that go. What are you doing? Let it go. It's time we man up. It's time we women up. It's time we mature. Go from milk to meat. Can I get an amen? Let it go, man. I'm speaking to some of you tonight. That's why you're quiet. You a man? Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down, man. Be a man. For this, we go to Romans 12, 2. It says, do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of the mind. Listen. That by testing you may discern what I just said. Listen, what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect? Stop accepting things of the world. You want to know why many of you fall into mistakes and sins and all that garbage and unforgiveness and, and all kind of things? Listen, holiness will always be a sign, <clears throat> evidence, confirmation that your mind has been renewed because you're living in a way where it honors God. Can I get an amen? Number four, accept and trust in God. In other words, now you gotta accept what He's bringing for you. How many are ready to accept tonight what He's bringing for you, man? How many are ready for 2024, man? It's gonna be the best year of your life. I promise you. I promise you, man. You see, say, I will, I will. live in expectancy this year. Amen? So, Jeremiah, we're going straight to Jeremiah 29 11. It's quick. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Not a B, not your mom. Plans for welfare, <clears throat> meaning for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Amen. How many ready to hope in Jesus? I want to give you a chance in a minute, I'm gonna make a call to the front. Well, I'm gonna give you a chance to come to the front. We're gonna minister over you and declare a new fresh start and for you to expect everything that God has in store for you, amen? amen. But first things first, at the sound of my voice, if you in your heart just feel like you need that prayer to set you off right for this new year, I want you to run to the front and make the line. Ushers, help me with the line first, please. Please, it's your year. It's your year. And this is not just a fresh word for you. I feel like it's just confirmation. <laughs> That's how confident you are. That's how much you've been wanting. Well, I declare tonight that everything, everything from the past, Everything that held you back, everything in 2023 that was held back from you has to be given to you by force. I declare his word when he says that whatever the enemy has stolen to you, he has to give back seven foes, a hundred foes, a thousand foes. And Jesus, my name, you receive that. Receive that tonight, Eka. Receive that tonight. You begin with Jesus, man. You begin. When you begin. You begin. Let go of the past. Let go of the past when I pray for forgiveness. Let go of the past. You begin. You begin. Chance was your second chance in 2023, but girl, this year is a new beginning for you. In Jesus' name, when you begin, a new beginning. Receive it. Receive it. A new beginning. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. A new beginning. A new beginning, too. A new beginning. You go back to Atlanta with a new beginning, baby. This year is yours, and the rest to come. In Jesus' mighty name, you will make it, Jude. You will make it. In Jesus' mighty name, a new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning. Go watch it on Instagram Live. I declare and I prophesy a new beginning for you. In Jesus' mighty name, receive it, receive it. Hey, you make all things new. You make all things new. You make all things new. Ladies first, I declare tonight in Jesus' mighty name that you will make all things new. Look at that.